Welcome back to Terraria. And welcome to our brand new castle. So, as I said before, I needed to do some work. And I wasn't sure if I was going to record it or not. Because I wasn't sure if this was really something that everyone wanted to see. And this took hours of work. <laughs> so... In retrospect, I'm kind of glad that I didn't, because that would have been just an enormously long video. But if this is something that you'd like to see in the future, you know, go ahead and let me know. I don't mind recording it. It's really no skin off my back doing it. Uh, let's see. I did miss some wood here. I don't have the wall to fix it right now. So we did this. We did make some rooms and invited some people in, so let's meet the people. Of course, up here, we've got the guide. He's been with us since the beginning. Sorry, I didn't mean to put a torch in your face. Over here, we've got a merchant. He doesn't sell much, but we have one. Hello, owl. Up here, we have a nurse. And, uh, yeah, she'll, she'll heal us, but we don't really need to be healed right now. We're good. And down here, we've got a demolitionist. Ah, this guy I'm actually kind of excited with because bombs are pretty cheap. And they're so useful for just going straight down. And I would like to get all the way down to the bottom of the map at some point. I did some more research on a lot of things while I was busy working on this. So, like, working on potions. Wow, you are just not afraid of anything. Oh, and that reminds me. I did catch an owl. So we now have a mascot. And if we have a mascot here, that means that this place needs a name. So if there's any suggestions for names, let me know. Because I need to name this, this big castle of ours. Anyway, did research. Found out that with a single glass bottle right here, I can make potions. And I can even make spelunking potions. Those potions that made things light up and showed things like chests and jars and everything else. Very useful. And very easily done. There we go, got a star. Get out. holding the door open. So, in order to make the potion, I need a vial of water. I need these blink roots. And I have some blink root seeds. I also need something called moon glow. And that is something that I do not have yet. As I understand it, Moon Glow comes from the jungle. And, I mean, we haven't gone anywhere yet. So, finding the jungle and seeing if we can find Moon Glow is one of those things that is on my list of things to do. There's also a bunch of stars up here. More stars. get all these because we're going to need them at some point okay so finding a jungle is one of the things on the list to do another thing is that down here where we kept dying there's another minecart track and this is the end of it so that means that it's going to go somewhere I kind of want to know where it goes. Minecart tracks are a great way to explore a lot of ground really fast. Now, I'm not looking forward to dying a whole lot when I go down there. But I suppose that's kind of unavoidable. So. Uh, quick stack? Not a place for this? Raw materials. Get in there. You should have automatically stacked. 
All right, so given that it's night, we're not going to be going to find the jungle biome. Let's go see if we can find where that that minecart track goes. So once more underground, but at least now we have a purpose. I kind of wish that I had a spelunking potion while I was doing this. Actually, I didn't check my potions. Hold on. Oh yeah, I need to make another bed because I gave my bed to someone else. So that I stop respawning out in the middle of the night. Um, there's nothing in these chests, are there? Oh, there is some stuff in this one. Um... Oh, I have tables. That's where my table went. I lost a table yesterday. Now I know where it went. Potions! I do have a one Spelunker potion left, so we're going to take that. Uh, healing potions. Danger Sense potion. Well, everything is dangerous, so that's kind of pointless. We'll take the lesser healing potions. And once we get down to the minecart tracks, we will drink the spelunking potion. That way we're not wasting any time with it. Down, 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 down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hello, slime. So, things that did happen while I was working on the castle. Since we're just, you know, traveling right now. Um, like I said, it took hours to get that castle done. And trust me, they were hours well spent. I had a lot of fun doing that. Building is always fun. Ow, no, stop it. Bad slime. Uh, one of the things that did happen is that there was a slime rain. Which I thought, you know, okay, fine, whatever. Lots of slimes coming down from the sky. No big deal, right? Oh boy, was I wrong. So, a whole bunch of slimes at once, as it turns out, is actually kind of dangerous. Because it turns out that if you put enough of them together, it really doesn't matter what you're packing. There's more of them than there are of you. And so then, while trying to hold all of them off... Ooh, that was a lucky shot. <gasps> that tree regrew. We can get more amethyst. As long as we can survive this bat. Kill the bat! Kill the bat. I am just the worst shot. I need to get some more summoning stuff soon because I am never going to survive on my own. Anyway, um, as I was saying... Wait, do I have an axe on me? I do not have an axe on me. This will have to wait. So, I was fighting off the slimes, and as it turns out, if you kill enough of the slimes, you get a slime. Specifically the king slime. So, yeah, he popped up to say that it was a short fight would be generous. I don't know what I hit him with or how many of things I hit him with, but it was a short fight. And, yeah, it did not end well for me. So, as I recall, the King Slime is, like, the easiest boss in the game. And he completely tanked me. Uh, let's see. Alright, we need to drink that potion, too. This is a good moment. 
Okay. Also, let's make some more torches. Oh, bat. Come on, come down here. Got him. Oh, we got some silver there. Oh, it's one of those invisible slimes. Let's leave him alone. And a skeleton down there. Skeleton right there. Uh-oh. That's one of those little snail things. Come on. Uh-oh. And a slime, too. Get down there. Lots of gold. A little gold portal. Oof! And a trap. And we're being poisoned. Heal. Is it enough? Come on. I think it was enough. Oh, there's a house down there. Where everything else is. And it doesn't matter because we got murdered by a snail. <sighs> oh my god, I hate it down here. We dropped nine gold. I need to start remembering to leave my gold at home. Do we have any gold left? Nope, we dropped all of it. So, the only way to get it back is to go down there and actually successfully get it back. <sighs> that was so much gold. And I saw a message pop up that the traveling merchant was around. I was kind of excited to see what he had, because, you know, his inventory changes. But now it's absolutely pointless because all of our gold is now gone. And we still didn't bring an axe. So down into the water. Okay. There's a bug. I don't like the bug. on. You've got my gold. Well, I got some of my gold back. Oh, there's the rest of it. Okay. Oh, so you've got money on you too. You can jump. And you throw things. Not nice to throw things. That's enough out of you. Wow. I am just the worst shot.
Come on. Just have the courtesy to die already. Uh, how am I even going to deal with this? Nope. No! <sighs> Come on. I would need to cart a howitzer down here to deal with the number of monsters. Well, I have nothing for you. What are you selling? A uh, chalice... A presserator? A uh, paint sprayer and an ammo box. Well, the ammo box would actually be kind of useful. Unfortunately, we can't afford it. Because we just left all of our gold at the bottom of the world. So, once more down, see if we can't pick up our gold and get out of here. There's the first set of tracks. Down. Down. This way. All right, well, we're back this far. Alright, well, you're down there, you're no longer my problem. Wait, shiny. There's amethyst there. Okay, well. We did just get some of our gold back. Oh, frickin' bug! Go away! Heal me. Go. I don't know what you are, but you hurt a lot. It was one of those flying snails again. Yeah, I saw you. I'm here, the more stuff shows up. Oh my god, you are so tough! Crap, and now the bug's back. And I heard a bat. And now there's a worm! Come on! Oh. 
This is ridiculous. Thank you, bird. Okay, so that's dead now. Stupid snail. Save me, health potion. What the? By poison spit. Why did I ever even think that I was capable of playing this game? I'm never getting my gold back at this point. All right, I have exactly one plan left. I am just going to bomb the crap out of them. We'll see how many explosions they can take to the face. And if it blows up my gold, well, I'm not getting it back anyway. They've kind of put me into a lose-lose position. If I do nothing, I get no gold. If I blow up my gold, it's still not mine anymore. So honestly, I've been put back against the wall with nothing to lose. Here's that tree again. We need to cut that down still so we can get it replanted. If I could get a magic staff. Magic was always my bag. I play summoner primarily, usually. But if I had to go for a second, it would be magic. But a magic staff takes a lot of gems. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, I got my gold back. And now this thing wants a piece of me. And it's going to get a piece of me. You guys made me do that. Okay, looting the chest. An arcane cloud in a bottle. We already have a cloud in a bottle. It's a fleeting cloud in a bottle. Uh, we don't have anything that uses magic, so having an arcane one doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Loot everything, though. Uh, take everything. Yes, we do. Yeah, let's try not to ground. Oh, there's another one of those snails. Wooden table. And you know what? We're leaving. We are leaving. I don't care anymore. I don't want it. I'd like to save what little gold I have left. Well, actually, I think I did recover everything. 
So we've got 12 gold, 10 silver, and some copper. Well, that was harrowing. Yeah, that was, uh, that was just awful. Huh. An enchanted nightcrawler. I feel like that's important for something, but I don't know what. You pretty much only use the, uh, the worms for fishing, and I have never gone fishing ever. Because fishing is boring. I'm not going to be able to get around that in this game, because our objective, of course, is to do everything. So, weapons and tools, we're going to need that. I may as well bring the bug net, too, and go catch that thing. If I still can, it might be gone. Oh, wait, no, there's one right there. So, uh, Enchanted Nightcrawler. Is there another one over here? I thought there was another one over here. Nope, but we got some fallen stars. Haha, <laughs> caught that one. Oh wow, they're falling all over the place. There'll be no stars left in the night sky at this rate. Well, this is good because we need these for our arrows. And then, if we can ever pick up enough gems to use for magic, then we can start converting them into mana stars. That part I do remember. And speaking of which, uh, I want to make sure that I bring back that other... Wait, I don't think I had another uh, gem corn. How did you get up there? You should not have been able to get up there. Everything up here is lit. There's a giant tower at the top of the hill. You should not have been able to get up there. Oh, wow, there's lots of these, these purple worms. I don't know if they're good for, or what they're good for, but we're going to have a few of them. Hello, squirrel. Oh. Let's see. More stars, more stars. Wow, there's a lot of stars out here. I wish daytime would come, but... I don't know how to tell what time of night it is. I don't see anything in the background. It's like nothing. Which is kind of spooky, because I don't ever recall there being nothing in the background. I seem to remember eclipses are a thing, but I think that's only for like later in the game. Maybe that's why there's so many stars falling? Maybe because there's a weird kind of night going on? I don't know. But we could collect stars all day right now. I need to go get that gem tree cut down so that it could be replanted. Because right now we're losing efficiency on it with it just sitting there. So, down again, just not down as far as it was before. And we didn't bring our gold with us this time. We will lose no gold. I have learned my lesson. Oh, there's a slime there. Ignore him. He's not bothering us. Okay. 
Come on, down, down, down. There it is. Okay, axe. What, I didn't get anything? I got stone. No gems? I don't get it. Why not? Well, that's... unfair. Okay, I'm tired of going through the water. Oh, crap. Invisible slime. Oh. And angry bat. Come on, you want a piece of this? No, but you do. Okay, got him. Oh, and here comes a skeleton. And the other bat. Come on, get out of here. Okay, now, where did I see those gems before? Right there. Never mind, we're not getting gems today. Man, everything I do just backfires on me. But you know what? Now it's daytime. So, we're going to go exploring just a little bit. Oh, you're still here? I thought you were leaving. Oh, no, you're different. Panda ears. A life form analyzer. Dynasty wood. Dynasty of leopard skin. A stopwatch. Devil horns. Um. That life form analyzer might be useful. I can't think of what else we're going to spend our money on. So let's go ahead and buy that. And then we'll put our gold away. And then we're going to take a look, because we're, we're running kind of long on time already today. But we'll see if we can't come across a, uh, a jungle. It's the first time I've really taken a look at this world. We spent a lot of time underground... Here's a big tree. Huh, okay. Now we can go inside it. Ooh, what is this? A blowpipe, some rope, some arrows, shine potion. I'll drink that. And that will loot everything. Except for the things that we can't loot, apparently. Um, wooden beams. Uh, let's see. We can trash that. We can trash that. These are just building materials. 
trash that. Yeah, we don't need any of these. So, loot everything. What do we got here? Climbing claws. I do like claws. Uh, more stuff. Just plain wood. Loot everything. And it just comes out into another tree. That's kind of cool. Another door. Another door. Hello. A leaf wand. A living wood wand. A ladybug minecart? Well, let's loot everything we can. Uh, gel? Wait. Okay, yeah, it's the same kind of gel. We can just consolidate that. And then... Oh, this is a living wood loom, I believe. We're going to kind of want that. So, yeah. Living loom. Okay, so, that's good. And now our inventory is absolutely full. We didn't even get that far. Is there anything else down here? Should we just magic mirror back home? There's some stuff here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was kind of useful. Let's keep going. And it looks like I'm just down into the caves. Okay. So we're going to magic mirror back home and put some of this stuff away. Well, correction, we're going to magic mirror into the middle of nowhere and then go home. Okay, so back to the chess. First things first, quick stack, and then sort. So, Cloud in a Bottle, I think we can only have one. Yeah, we only have one. Uh, so, we've got potions. Put those away. Um, ores and ingots. We did pick up some. Oh, yeah, but they probably already got stacked. So, we're good there. Um, plants and seeds. I don't see anything in here that we necessarily need to put in. Uh, beastie pieces. There's some night crawlers. And red husks. Those came from beasts. Okay. Weapons and tools. Uh, that'd be a blowpipe. That can go in there. These wands can go in there. Uh, furniture. That's this, 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 and this. As well as the painting, the chandelier. Um. Oh, okay. This goes into its own special slot. Cool. Okay. If I ever figure out how to use mine carts, that could be useful. I guess that should be on my list of things to do, too. Uh, so, what else do we have? Raw materials. The whoopee cushion can go in there. I have an obelisk headstone. Planked wall. Don't need any of that stuff. Um, gel is technically an ammunition, so that can go in there. And I think we still need a chest for armor and equipment. So let's make that this chest. Uh, 
armor and equipment. And we can put the, uh, the arcane bottle right there. Alright, so chest mostly empty. Or inventory mostly empty. We did find some good stuff. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Uh, we can make some things with the living logs, but not much. So, yeah. All right, this is getting kind of long, so that being the case, we're going to leave off on kind of a high note for a change. We're not dead. We died several times, but we managed to get everything back. And we even went out exploring, got some new stuff. And the next time, we'll take off again in the same direction, see if we can find a jungle with some moon glow. Yeah, it should be good. So until then, see you next time in Terraria. Take care.